This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar where viewers could ask Larry anything. And here is the question. Ron uh, sent me an email when we were doing a sign-up. Ron asked how to remove unwanted boom mic or light stands from the sides or edges of a video clip. Well, there's two problems that we've got here. Let's take a look at my screen for a second. Let us pretend you're going to see this giraffe a lot. It's a 4K clip. It's a red clip. It's 4,096 pixels horizontally by roughly 2,500 pixels vertically. Let us pretend that there's a mic dangling in the shot, and let's pretend that the mic is this area of the sky here. We've got to pretend something because I don't have a clip that has a, a mic dangling into it. Well, one of the things that we can do is select the clip, go to the inspector, and go to the transform setting and take scale and increase it. And by zooming in on the clip, we can lose the mic. Remember, we were pretending the sky is the mic. We can lose the mic by zooming in. But notice the scale percentage. If you are shooting a 1080 clip and you're zooming on a 1080 clip, you'll get rid of the mic, but you'll also soften the image because zooming any video clip larger than 100% will, all it does is it make your pixels fatter, you start to lose edge definition, it starts to get soft. Your eye is gonna notice a difference after about, oh, 105, 106%. The audience, assuming they're sober, is gonna notice a difference around 110%. If you're doing this that's sort of eye wash and nobody's paying real attention to quality, you could probably zoom as much as you want. Now, there's a second, uh, and nobody's gonna notice, there's a second way that we could work this. Select the number, Type 100%, reset it back to where it was. Another thing that we, we are doing, we're seeing a lot of, is we're shooting high resolution and then editing it into a, a smaller project. So, for instance, here, let's just go to this clip so you can see what I've got. Here, giraffe, there it is right there. There's my giraffe clip and when I click on the info window notice that the clip itself is 4096 by 2160. Okay, So it's clearly a 4K clip as indicated here. But when I go to the project I've got the project as a 720 project or a 1080 project. So I can now zoom into this giraffe without losing any pixels because the source image is bigger than the project image. The way that works is select the clip, go to the video tab inside the inspector and scroll down to the bottom to a category called spatial conform. Here, you can change this from fit, which means the entire image, edge to edge, top and bottom, will fit inside the frame, or filled. Notice I've got a real small letterboxing top and bottom here. Let's change that to fill. It zooms in slightly to fill the letterboxing, or set this to none, which is what you want to do when you're reframing a clip. Set it to none, and now we're displaying the clip at 100% camera native size. Well, this is a 720 project, so I can zoom into this clip quite a lot. So now what happens is when I go up to transform, notice that scale is set to 100%. By setting spatial conform to none, it means that I'm now seeing a one for one pixel uh, as much as my project will show. When I scale back, I can now get exactly the size on the giraffe or lose the microphone as I want. And I can see exactly what the warning zone is. When I go to 100%, now I know I'm at 126%. I know that I'm making my pixels soft. I know that I'm degrading quality. So I can say the most that I want to zoom in is 100%. We'll click on the transform button here, set that to transform. And we'll just click hold and drag and say reframe for a close up of the giraffe or lose the microphone. Now, there's an entirely different technique, and I wrote an article about this, and I was looking for it just before the show started to see if I could show it to you. Let's say that you're in a studio <clears throat> or any kind of environment, and you know that you're going to be shooting light stands and cameras and that sort of stuff just because of how close in everything is. So what you do is you, re you set your camera down and you lock it, sandbag it, make sure that nothing moves on the shot that you want, your master shot and you roll off a minute of a clean, what's called a clean plate. It's the environment where everything is in place. Sorry, it's the environment where everything is, is perfectly clean. There's no light stands in the way. It's just the shot. Then you record your video on the same angle, and you do a mask. You put the clean plate on the bottom, the shot that's got all the lighting equipment on the top, and you mask the top clip so that we get rid of all the lighting gear. And where that mask is, it then becomes transparent. And we see the clean plate below, 
on the primary storyline or layer one, and we see the the actor acting on layer two, and because it's exactly the same shot from exactly the same camera on exactly the same day, you're able to to um, to hide the fact that, that you've cut the image in half. The center part is where the actor is, and the outside edges is the clean plate that you shot before you moved the lighting gear in. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar where viewers could ask Larry anything. For the complete version of this online training, please become a subscriber. Learn more at LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions and look for Webinar 152. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than a thousand movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.